Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Silent Hill 3. So, looks like you can't go to B1 or B2. Where the fuck do you want me to go, game? <sighs> Fudge nugget. Uh, have I been to, have I been to floor one? Oh, wait, it was floor two, wasn't it? I mean, I might as well check here, too. Just for the sake of completion. The fuck? The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God dis God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, er, er, <laughs> I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Okay, Leonard, you crazy mofo. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard the protector of the seal business somewhere before. Yeah, the crazy guy from the phone. Durr. They see me herping. They derping. Oh! Okay, I guess the cream make you one here. Oh shit! <laughs> Give me on. I forgot I still had the- I forgot I had the, uh... This equipped. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Katana. Just, just let me pass, please. Thank you. Fuck's sake. God, oh, I hate this thing so much. Okay, I'm not dead yet. This is fine. Where am I? <laughs> okay, I'm here. It's locked. God, I can't even tell where there's a door! Just have to keep pushing my face into the wall as I'm getting trampled by monsters. Stupid monster. Oh, this is pleasant. There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher, this is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Do they worship that picture or something in the picture? One characteristic mentioned only in prior documents and dying out in the modern age is that of ritual, the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which he spouts which spouts red from the heart and prays to praise and show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind dark and cultish, hist uh, dark and cultish history. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go find... This is where I use the bag of blood, I think. Because logic. <laughs> Hi, monsters! Can you, like, leave me alone for two seconds? <laughs> because that's everything except for the bath and the examination room. God, I hate these things so much. <laughs> these monsters aren't even scary. They're just annoying. Swear to God. Hey, dead nurse. I'm dying. I need to not do that. Okay, so I have to check all these rooms. It's broken. At least I can see where the fucking doors are. Leave me alone! Why have the doors here if they're all gonna be locked? Oh, 
Damn it, game! Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Why does this room exist? Why does this room exist? <laughs> Oh, Jesus! <laughs> okay, I'll take the ampule. Dirty syringes. Not about to use them, that's for sure. Why would you? Mr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim, too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. Looks like the rumor is true, according to the head nurse. I don't think he's a. I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. So as long as you don't talk about religion, got it. <laughs> Which is exactly what Heather's going to talk to him about. Damn it, Heather. Okay, so I still have a couple rooms for that best. Got it. Oh, shut the fuck up. Ah, I hate these things so much. They're annoying. Get up. Hate them. Hate them so much. Oh, go fuck yourself. I know you have a gun. Just leave me alone. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I guess that's this room pretty much done. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't you start with that gun bullshit. I came from the second floor, I think. Basement floor. Uh... Okay, we're already gone through the third floor. It looks like. Let's go to the second floor. No monsters? I don't trust it. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust it. It's like, mm, I know better. <laughs> Every time there's- I know what's gonna happen in here. <laughs> okay. Okay, game, what do you got? <laughs> Show me what you got. God, why is there a camera in this locker? <laughs> Says Heather. But he just said 21st. I or 31st. A present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? 
Depends on the situation. You can have the as long as there's consenting adults involved. You hate the most. <laughs> Rude. Happy birthday to you. But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. No, but it's Alessa's. <laughs> Which I think is the joke. Oh, this room is useless. And it was the men's locker room, too. God damn it! I knew it was a trap, the fact that there was no monsters. Wait, did I just pick up a body bag? From the trash? Did I just pick up a blood bag from the trash? Uh, where? There we go. Yeah, plastic bag. Okay, so now I need to find the. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. Is that what you have to sell? You have to say. The more pitiful it seems, like a child locked up in there with no chance of escape. Okay, bye. <laughs> It's like, oh, okay, bye! And I still have to check down there. Leave me alone, you bitch! God damn it. So. The fuck do I go now? Elevator, I guess? I mean, there's no monsters in the elevator, at least. So I've been to two. I've been to one. Hmm. Haven't been to the basement. Base basement floor. <laughs> I know where I need to use the blood. I need to use it in that save room. C1's locked. So it's probably in C1, if I had to guess. Do I have a key? Did I pick up a key at some point and forget? No, all I have is the plastic bag. Got it. Uh, I didn't check that examination room. So I might as well go to the, th the third floor and check that out, because I probably forgot. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? Happy birthday, get wrecked. Damn it! God, I hate these things so much. Stop humping me. Oh great, it's one of these damn rooms again. Of course! It was the one room I forgot to freaking check. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from from it has totally filled the bucket set below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full out bloodletting. A oh, good thing I have this baggie. <laughs> Put blood in the plastic bag. Got a plastic bag with blood. Oh, never change, Silent Hill. Never fucking change. Okay, so it's C4 on the first floor. Now let's see if I can get there without getting humped to death. Probably not. Nice upskirt shot there, game. Enemy that's infuriating. It's such a stupid enemy. Not that I'm salty. Shut up, I'm not. Oh fuck, I forgot you had a gun. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> I forgot I have to go through the, 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 yeah, the back way. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Shooting me would be rude. Hi. Hi, dead body. Hi, dead body. Gross. Fuck's sake! Okay, so it was at the door at the very end. Oh my god, is it happy birthday on the wall? Who the fuck said you could have a gun? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
blood. Gross. <laughs> There was no way there was that much blood. Excuse you. Boy, I feel like I should have saved first. <laughs> hey, Heather. You want to use the save point first? Please? <laughs> save. Because <laughs> this looks like the way to Leonard. Which means save. Because this is a boss fight. This is one boss fight. Don't, oh, my buddies are being cute and cuddling. Stop distracting me! It's not a video of mine if I don't look off screen and go, STOP DISTRACTING ME TO MY RABBITS! Oh, I didn't get to sing Snake Eater. <laughs> That's a lot of eye beams <laughs> And that's, uh, Heather? that's a whirly thing of death. Yeah. Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Ah! Uh. And now I'm going to piss them off. <laughs> Hearken to the voice of God. We'll be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so? Yeah, sure. She didn't say no. Do whatever you want. What do you mean by that? Did you not read all the letters? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. The fact that you can't see him yet is probably something you should be paying attention to. <laughs> so you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I mean, yes. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I don't want it though. Hi. <laughs> She's not even surprised he's a monster at this point. <laughs> like, hey. I mean, tell that to a cutscene with Vincent later. Why is it lagging? <laughs> no, I didn't mean to shit. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh, right, I forgot. I have to be careful. Because I think if you get too close to the thingy at the end, it'll kill you. I think. I mean, it definitely looks like it would tear you up. Why is something moaning in my face? Please, please desist with the moaning. This is a weird boss. 
I guess it's a weird boss. <laughs> Like, he hasn't hit me once. Uh-oh. Nope. Don't hit me. The fuck is he even doing underwater there? No, don't get too close to the thing. It's scary. No! How dare you get out of the water! Why is this funny to me? She's like, Ugh! <laughs> when you kick him, it's, it's funny, okay? Shush. Where the fuck is he? There he is. Whoa! Okay, he managed to hit me once. Oh, right, I gotta reload. Where? Where? Where'd he go? Oh shit, I'm getting close to the thing! <laughs> I don't know if it can actually kill you. I don't want to take that chance. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. Nope! Kick him! <laughs> Shut up, it's funny to me. <laughs> the pain of this monster is entertaining. I mean, you gotta find some entertainment. It's not vagina monster, but it's close. Did he die? Cool! <laughs> like, he, he, he did? Is he dead? Did I murder him? He looks like he murdered, so I'm gonna say he murdered. And now I have the totally useful seal that's gonna totally be important to the end. Except, not really. Game. Anytime now, game! I swear to god, if you're frozen. Okay! It did freeze! What the fuck? I had to go through the- I had to go through the fight all over again. It was bullcrud. Huh? But we're out now, so it's fine. <laughs> I- I think- I skipped the cutscene where he's flailing, so maybe that helped it. But it didn't freeze this time, that's all I care about. Leonard's not here anymore. No, because you killed him. You murdered a man. Yes, I should head back to the motel now. You're a murderer. Murderer! Oh, this is okay. I mean, for now. It's the seal! Er, er. What's this? The seal. Obviously. Talisman. <laughs> Doesn't even have doesn't even have the balls to call it a seal. <laughs> the fuck? Turn on your flashlight, dumbass. No. Okay. <laughs> Still not turning your flashlight on. If you get stabbed by a by a freaking doctor or nurse, then it's your fault. Why did you send her to my father? Hi, Claudia. Was that wrong? <laughs> it's your fault that he. Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved. No. Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. Damn it, Vincent. <laughs> You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. So creepily you awesome. Think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures 
of this world. Why are they in Heather's hotel room? <laughs> I want to find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you. He made you cry. God, he's so rude. I love it. <laughs> the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes. Yes. And that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. Yeah, way to go all shrink on her now, dude. You don't understand. None of you do. Then maybe you're wrong. <laughs> oh, Claudia. <laughs> oh, Claudia. Oh, Claudia. Where the fuck am I? Okay, we have to go to Jack's end. Jackson, 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 Jack, Jackson, Jackson, get it? It's funny, okay? It was a terrible joke. Okay, here we go, 106. T take a breath, Heather. <laughs> Hi, Vincent. What the fuck are you doing in our hotel room? Also, how'd you get the key? <laughs> Where's Douglas? Shoot him in the face! He went out. Really? What? left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. We didn't need to know how he found that information. I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Yeah, she was also in this hotel room like two seconds ago. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. Or just That's probably the only way in now. Or just walk around the lake. <laughs> go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. Hmm, but closer than heaven. Okay. Is that it for the message? Uh huh. Thanks. <laughs> so annoyed at <laughs> him. She's like, I know you're lying to me, but I don't know how. Really said that? What's wrong? You don't trust Not me? even a little. Like he's probably waiting in the hotel room still for Douglas to get back and then to tell Douglas, Heather has a message for you, go to the amusement park. <laughs> anyway, it has been long enough. And I'm gonna have to edit this all together, so we're gonna end the video here. My name is Miss Girl Tanager, and we are playing some Silent Hill 3 in the next one. We will be going to the Lakeside Amusement Park. See you all in the next video.